Hey guys, how's everybody doing? I just wanted to do a real quick video. I just got off work. I was um, tired and not really in the mood for shopping or anything, but guys, my uh, spidey sense has been tingling. I don't know what you want to call it. Intuition, that feeling, that urging. I don't know. It's just uh, I've been having this feeling over the last couple days, as I'm sure you all have, that... Um, I don't know. Things are just weird. I'm not going to, you know, go into everything that you're seeing on the news and seeing everywhere else. But I just want to encourage you to stock up in the next couple days. Tomorrow, tonight, if you can. Get what you need. Get stuff in your house. Get food. Get gas. Get cash out. Um, if you have candles, lanterns, lighters, matches, all that stuff, get it in your house now. Um, I ran um, to BJ's. It's kind of like a Sam's Club, that kind of thing, in our area. I ran there after work and just like supermarket sweep, went through the place and just grabbed what I could, at just whatever I saw as fast as I could because I did have to go pick up my son. So I'm going to show you this uh, last minute Spidey Sense haul that I did. Um, it didn't get very much, but I uh, got some things I thought that I would need. Um, 12 pound bag of all purpose flour. I have a bunch of flour already, but because I'm a new, um, bread making, um, connoisseur, <laughs> I'm going to stock up on some flour. I'm just kidding. I just made my first loaf of bread the other day, but I do want to start trying more, um, bread recipes. So I got more flour. I got a 25 pound bag of jasmine rice. I love the taste of jasmine rice. It's um, more flavorful than just uh, long grain rice. Um, a little more expensive. I think this is like $17.95, but that's not bad in comparison to what you get at Walmart. So 24, 25 pounds of rice. I got a 12 pack of chicken noodle soup. 12 cans of Chef Boyardee. I guess it's half and half uh, spaghetti and meatballs and mini raviolis. And this is stuff that my son will eat, both of these. I need to make sure that what I'm getting, um, he's actually going to eat. And I'm not getting like canned vegetables because honestly, he won't eat that. <laughs> I wish he would though. I got a big old bag of uh, breaded chicken strips. Hopefully there's no situation where I don't have my deep freezer because a lot of this stuff is going in there. Or I plan to put it in there. This is three and a half pounds of chicken strips. Three of these pepperoni pizzas. My son likes the thin crust. I like pizza too. Pizza is kind of like a comfort food. If you have kids, I mean, pizza is just an easy thing to have around if you don't feel like cooking dinner. <laughs> and then I got a whole chicken. And I love getting like rotisserie chickens and stuff from the store. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna make one, start making them on my own kind of thing. It's cheap, five seventy nine. I don't know if I can put this in my air fryer, but if I can find a recipe for it, that's what I'm gonna try. Uh, I got a bunch of steaks. I'm not a huge steak fan. I mean, like filet mignon, yeah, I'll eat it, but I'm not like a big steak person. But my son loves steak. So I got some of that, grabbed some pasta sides, I guess it's a mixed pack, there's eight of them in there. It was seven dollars or something, so cheaper than buying them for a dollar a piece at Walmart. And there looks like there's some chicken flavor, Alfredo, um, I don't know what other flavors there are, but that's an easy thing to cook up. Just need to boil some water. And you don't even really need the butter um, and milk that it calls for. I think that's what it calls for. Just some water will do, honestly. Or you can use some condensed milk in place of cold milk. I got a bunch of yeast. One pound. Oh, it's actually a two-pack. So two pounds of instant dry yeast for my bread making. And this is like four fifty or something, so that's a really good price for all that yeast. And I guess I'm gonna have to vacuum seal it after I take some out. That's like packed in there like a brick. I got some chicken breast, a six pack. I think it's cheaper 
than Walmart. I didn't even care. I just ran in there and I was like, I'm going to get everything that I can possibly think of. I, I just think it's a good idea, guys. Grab whatever canned goods you can, like, tomorrow or whenever you have some time. Um, this just looked good. <laughs> I think uh, I've tried it before, but just some, some crackers, some palmetto cheese. I don't know why they call it palmetto cheese, because it's pimento cheese, but whatever. It's good. Um, and then I got this taco dinner kit. It is basically three nights of tacos. There's three taco sauce pouches, three packets of seasoning mix, and um, three ten packs of these shells. The extra wide ones, so you can put lots of stuff in there. And taco night is something we do every week. Got some more Cheez-Its. Big, giant box. Two bags in it. Um, beef jerky. It's good to have some protein around. And my son likes to snack on that. Some macadamia nuts. I like these. And when I was doing the keto thing, when I was actually being good and doing keto, this was a go-to snack for me. I plan on getting back into that because I have like picked up the COVID-15 or COVID-10, whatever you want to call it, and I need to get back into it. Anyway, that was a good deal. And then I got some Doritos, just some comfort food, a giant bag of the nacho cheese and spicy nacho, and then some Raisin Bran Crunch. I'm... Oh. Basically what I mean guys is get your household in order, uh, stack it up if you can, get some canned goods, get some water, get some candles, all that good stuff. Um, not trying to be a fear monger, but uh, my spidey sense is tingling and if you have any spidey sense or intuition, you might be having the same feeling. Um, even people close around me who are not like preppers per se, just, just people I work with are like uh, stock up some stuff something's going down right now so if you know the average person is thinking that way and me the crazy person is thinking that way there's probably something going on so stack it up if you can head out to the grocery store tomorrow get what you might need for um i don't know plan for at least two weeks to a month is what i'm going to say anyway guys on a positive note take care and have a good night